Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Fuzzy Ferret Farm in Stardew Valley. Oh, that was a bit of a deep chime there. Right, let's start the day off by checking on the Queen of Sauce, apparently. Uh, let's see, pizza! There's a reason pizza is the timeless culinary classic. You've got an artisan's golden brown crust, or rather artesian. I, I'm not sure. An artisan golden brown crust doesn't sound like the right use of the word, but artesian maybe. You've got a tangy garlic infused marinara sauce and you're topping it all with a mouth-watering three cheese blend and we're just getting started. Let's throw on some fresh peppers and a tomato on the top. Oh my! Also some mushrooms please. Uh, you already know how to cook pizza. Even though that wasn't really run. Oh wait, of course. It, well, no, actually, I should be something that... It should show rerun even if it's in the, a new year. I've just gotten that recipe from someone. Ah, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult because they're grumpy. And for the weather, it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Well, that's actually quite, quite good. Quite good. Uh, right, let's drop off. Um, sure, let's drop that off, I would say. Uh, we look okay in there, though. Oh, look at the beautiful blossoms. Oh, there's no mail. Why was I going to check my mail? I'm so used to people sending me letters. I, that's uh, becoming true in real life these days. I'm getting a lot of mail from the Dapplings, which I am internally grateful for. It's actually incredibly nice to wake up and uh, have some mail there. I don't get very much mail that isn't bills from other sources. So, you know... This, this is a nice change. It's like I've, I've stopped. I've stopped dreading <laughs> mail at this point. Like hurrah! I may not have to give someone money. It may just be someone trying to say something nice. Possibly send me tea. Hello, Agro. Barada, Leafin. There we go. And some of that. Actually, Agro, if we can drop some of these things off, then that would be grand. Let's uh, drop all of this off if we. And we cannot, unfortunately. Yeah, the stone can definitely go in there. Uh, let's sort that out. In fact, let me take that up. Oh, we've got so many daffodils. Uh, I mean, that's nice. Don't get me wrong. But it is filling up my inventory. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this into one of the recyclers. Uh, actually, let's uh, also drop you off. I'm going to go ahead and sell. Hmm. Yes, I'm going to sell the dandelion. Also going to sell that. Mixed. Also going to sell that. Uh, there we go. Now then, obviously it's been a couple of days since I uploaded any Stardew, and that is not for for want of playing it. Don't worry, everyone. I know there are some people who are quite concerned whenever that happens. They, they worry that, oh, is this a sign that you've stopped uh, enjoying the game? No, nothing like that at all. I've just been so wretchedly busy with the house move as it becomes closer and closer. I mean, I've got the house now, but uh, I've been moving into it slowly over the past couple of days, simply because that that's a little bit uh, kind on the sanity and uh, that and the fact that there was no internet for quite some time because uh, I moved in a little bit earlier than I was expecting which was you know nice to be able to do but uh, it did throw off my carefully laid plans which had meant previously that I would begin the internet installed the day before uh, sorry the day after I move in changed to getting installed like a week later <laughs> so yeah for the for the first little while all i was doing was simply moving um a few odds and ends into the house but now things are actually in the position where we can oh damn it not get this dog egg in there i really should have checked the chest the last night but uh, as a result it, it is, has been a little bit of stress spread out over a much longer period of time, which is probably a better thing. But now now the internet's in, the, the big stress of moving all the big furniture has started to kick in, so I've been losing time all over the place. We've got many, many things here. I'm very glad to see all of this stuff. Uh, there is no point in us, in us uh, getting any more uh, tomatoes. Uh, sorry, not tomatoes, strawberries, in my opinion. Let's grab a little bit of all of this, though, shall we? Yes. And then all of the pumpkins. Thank you. We've got a good harvest here. We are going to make a lot of money today. Uh, no. No, thank you. We are going to make an awful lot of money today. This seems... No. No, no, no. Let me get something else. This seems like a brilliant time to build possibly a new barn. 
and then upgrade the old one. Strongly considering that. Strongly considering that one. Uh, I could, put, could plant an extra corn. Mm. Or I could go ahead and plant more pumpkins, frankly. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and plant some more pumpkins. Uh, do I have blueberries? No, I don't have any blueberries. Never mind. Let's just get these pumpkins on the go. They're not a super high priority right now because I can plant them later in the day. So I just need to remember to check on that. I'll drop off some of them enough that I'm probably going to be able to uh, get everything down. I'll wait for these seeds because it's not going to take me that long. Uh, let's quickly get these down. That's a good haul there. Four seeds out of two pumpkins. And get these to go in. There we are. We've got another five seeds. Okay, yeah, that, that was a pretty good haul, to be honest. Uh, we shouldn't have any problem getting our last little bit done. But I am going to leave now and go about the rest of my duties around the farm. Damn it! No, I'm not coming back for you. Uh, right, okay, so where I would not mind planting another barn is right about there, I'm thinking. Right about there. We'll see, but uh, that is definitely one of the better spots. However, it would be better for me to upgrade this barn. I think, because then I can move all of the cows out of this barn and fill the other one with goats. There we go. The Ochenvaur Cariad. There we are. Right, now we can let you all out and you can enjoy your noms. Your healthy, fresh grass noms. There we go. Oh, there we are. And we are going to go and check on your sisters over here. Uh, have we got... Yeah, we've not got any um, milk in the chest, which is just as well. Because we do not have enough cheese presses to process it all. But yes, I, I'm thinking it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and upgrade the barns, I think. We've got two iridium, which is fine. An awful lot of low grade silver we'll go ahead and well, well i'll guess i'll get rid of that one because that clears up my inventory a little bit more we'll just leave that one there okay we had an awful awful lot of good um good gathering from all of that i say gathering what i mean to say is good produce yeah that, that's more or less the word that i want hello grave lord <laughs> so i was like grave lord said hello back what a polite young chicken you are. And people say void chickens are evil. Bah. Well, that said, if I were evil, I would be polite. There's something more evil about an evil overlord that doesn't have to be mean to prove that they're evil. They're so evil, they're like, yeah, why not? I can just be arbitrarily nice to people. Doesn't, doesn't change how evil I am. Um... Yes, we'll be rid of the orange wine. We'll see how much that brings us. I'll keep hold of the strawberries, though. And everything else, more or less, is good. Okay. Right, we're going to be going for a bit of a wander today, Agro. Uh, was there anything I wanted to drop off? Yes. See, this this particular one. Uh, let's grab some of those. We'll get rid of these ones, actually, just to open up that an extra spot in there. Where are you? There we go. Right. Agro, let us be off. We've got two places we really need to be. The first one is to go to the merchant. See if the merchant is carrying any new stock that we would like. No, Agro, I'm kind of short on time today, so please no shenanigans. There we go. We've got also then head find Lewis, because it is Lewis's birthday. Hi, Jess. How are you doing? One, two, three, four. Oh no, I messed up again! When will you learn, Farmer Avak? Stop interrupting me! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a scallywag. Uh, right, cave carrot, a lobster, a coleslaw, pumpkin soup, a walnut tea table. Hmm. The walnut tea table. Seems like a nice purchase. Um, yes, I'm going to take that one. Honestly, the, the main thing that I hope for when it comes to that merchant is new new furniture. Uh, 
that being done, I just realized there's one thing I need to do to try and uh, most effectively use my resources. And that is not go to Robin without picking up all of my wood and my stone. That would be a bit dumb. All of the stone. I don't have much wood, I don't think. No, any wood, in fact. Uh, but I've got a lot of stone thanks to the mining. So I should bring that with. Okay, let us head into town, where I'll pick that daffodil up when I come back. Uh, I need to try and find Mia Lewis. It's Sunday. Will Mia Lewis be doing the rounds? Ah, good, good, Mia Lewis. Hello. I've been mayor of Pelican Town for over 20 years. No one ever runs against me when it's time for re-election. I like to think it means I'm doing jo my job well, which involves intimidating people into not running against me. Here we go. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. Your taxes will be lower this year. I like to imagine. To encourage, you know, good gifts. Aren't you cold? They don't make sweaters like they used to. Uh, I do not feel the cold. The wizard M. Rasmodius wishes to study the arcane properties of the earth crystal. You will be rewarded. 150 gold on delivery. Wizard will be thankful. <laughs> wizard. I love how the game just calls him Wizard. How rude! He has a name! You know what his name is! Scallywag! Ah, uh, hmm. I mean, I could. I could go to Rob. I'm gonna go to Robin. But, I just realized that I could also use my money to fix the bus so Pam can have her job back. It's gonna take a break from work every now and then. Indeed it is. Here we go. You're giving this to me? This is amazing! Oh, uh, you're welcome. Uh, sorry, I was also trying to ride my horse into your house. How rude of me. Hi, Robin. Hi, Alec. It's good to see you. Thank you. Right. Uh, actually, let's just double check. Well, Demetrius is not far off. I imagine that Robin's not far off either. No, that's pretty good, all things said and done. Uh, Lewis and Pam fairly close. Yeah, we're getting there. Definitely getting there. Got a little bit more work to do with Sebastian. Um, a lot of work to do with Sam, Alex, and Harvey. Uh, I mean, one thing about this game is the order in which you get to the maximum heart with the individual singles, I think really does say something. It's not just random. I'm not going to say it's random. Part of it is, there's a little bit of it, it's just a random chance. Some people are just not on your regular daily route. So you talk to them less. But then some people are, but you just don't give them gifts. Or you don't, there's not a part in the back of your, like you would normally if you had them. You're just never carrying those particular gifts. But there's definitely a part of your brain that expresses your preference by making sure that you prioritize part of your inventory to hold the gifts for that person. For example, Leah. I'm still carrying gifts for her and Abigail, even though I know they don't. I don't need to give them any more gifts. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm not going to say that it isn't some some part of preference showing there. Um, I'm not going to say it isn't some part of preference that, that Emily was one of the first ones to full heart. Uh, construct farm buildings. Uh, let me just check a shop first. We got. That looks gorgeous. I will take. I care not of its cost. Uh, ornate window. I also like. I will take this also. The rest of the functional stuff. Yeah, it's lovely and functional and things, but. Oh. Yes, I also want that. Damn it. Why are you stocking so many good things? Also, ornate lamp. Wow. Robin, I wanted to buy something really expensive from you, but you're making me not want have money for it. Uh, I mean, I can't afford that one, and now I'm fairly certain I'm not going to be able to afford this one either. Um, drat. Hmm. Well, I, I mean, it's not that I'm not going to have ridiculous amounts of money today. Okay, Robin, well, you've made your, your cash. Either way, really, I guess. Hey, Sebastian. There you go, mate. We really love this. How did you know? Uh, I had a guess. A fairly strong hunch. You told me. I worry about the characters in this town. They seem to have remarkably short memories. 
I wonder if they've got some sort of condition that means that every time they go to sleep, the the short term memory doesn't get converted to long term memory; it just gets purged. I've had several computers along those lines. It's not fun. It would be nice if the townspeople could accept me for who I am. I like living out here in the open air. That's what they don't understand. Well, for what it's worth, Linus, I understand it. And I accept you for who you are. I think you're actually quite charming. Uh, right. <laughs> I've got amazing things to put around my house. Sort of doing anything else productive today. Uh, wait. Well, since I've got this cash, have I got the 10k? Um... Uh, bundle that I can go and get because I do feel a little bit bad for Pam. I I keep prioritizing the the bar the the farm and the barns and the everything else that, that makes me money. I and mean, part of it is because I just want more animals. But the other part is I I li also like money. Today I'm just gonna relax and think positively. Well, that's lovely. Here, have a daffodil. Oh, goodness, are you sure? I am. I am sure. Right. Let's go and see if we can't do right by Pam. Hello, Tiny Junimo. Right, what have we got? 10k bundle. Okay. Here you go. We get a lightning rod worth 10,000 gold. Better be made out of gold. At that point, it would be a less effective lightning rod. But, damn it. In fact, don't make it out of gold. It would look ugly on my farm. Nothing I've got is, is kind of positioned or bought so that it works well with a gold color. I'm not going to be able to get it in a way. Harvey, Harvey, why? Hey, Maru. Is that... Oh, wow, wow, that... This is spectacular. You're welcome. You're very, very welcome. Do I have anything? Daffodil. Let me go, Penny. Thanks, this looks nice. You're welcome. I can hear fish. Fish somewhere. Ah, wonderful. Hello, marvelous man. Oh, we're back. I was hoping you'd show up. Oh, were you? It's always a pleasure to see you. Oh, that is very, very sweet. Thank you so much. That makes me unreasonably happy. All right, well, let's go check on our crab pots, if nothing else. Is Willie down here? Hey, Willie. Don't mind aggro. It's very light. I know it sounds like the pier is creaking underneath him, but it's not. If you purchase a high-quality fishing rod, you'll be able to attach bait and tackle to the line. I know, I've already bought one. Bait causes fish to bite faster. Tackle can make your job a lot easier when reeling fish in. I've already bought one. From you. There we go. Right. Uh, Agro, let's go and have a look. See if there are any shells for us to collect. It's been a little while. Let's, let's just chill out, you and I. Spend all this time socializing with other people, and not enough time socializing with you. If I could groom you, I would. I can't. It makes me very sad. I can't even give you a salt lick. I can't feed you peppermints. Ah. Uh, it's terrible. I say I socialize with them, then I walk off to go and do fishing. That's a part of my brain that's like, yeah, I can't do this because the game doesn't allow me, so... But damn it, I intend to go bring Agro along the pier so that we, I can, I can in my head, be just chatting with him while I'm fishing. There we go. Yank. Thank you very much, Halibut. Look, don't worry about this prayer. It looks old and rickety, but you know I would never take you anywhere dangerous. I would never require you to sacrifice yourself so I could get over a bridge, for example. That would be not something that would never happen... In this reality, or any other reality, I would sooner plummet to my own death and know that you were fine. Uh, well, you're just the kind of horse that would not rear up suddenly and just, like, buck me off and cast me down into the ravine. No, you would selflessly sacrifice yourself so that I would go on. Stupid, amazing, wonderful horse. There we go. Oh, again, decent quality fish at the very least. All right, this is the last fish I'm going to fish, though, because I do want to get home so that I can uh, decorate my house. I'm not going to be able to put all the decorations up, but I'm going to be able to do a decent job of it, I imagine. I'm not sure where this table is going to go. I'm feeling that's going to have been a purchase for a future day, which is great. 
but it's not it's not gonna make me it's not gonna make me immediate um, make me immediately able to improve the situation of my house I'm just gonna pop in here for a moment aggro hi Clint oh, it's all holding up pretty pretty good actually mate pretty good thank you very much for all the hard work you put into them um do I have anything I can give you I do not I will be right back Clint thank you in fact in fact, I'm in a good mood. I'm in a really good mood. Here you go, Clint. This is a fun gift, thanks. <laughs> I know. Beer. So fun. Thank you. You're welcome, Manny. Hey, hey, now this is really something. Thanks a million, kid. You are welcome. Hi there, Abak. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. You know what? Would you like a strawberry? It's a top quality strawberry. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. Welcome. You didn't seem too fast. This house was left in our care by my parents. They've been traveling the world for the last two years. You have no idea when they'll be coming back. I love how happy you seem at the time. I enjoy living here, though. It's a beautiful area, and the town is nice. I just love the, the way... I have no idea when they're coming back. She was smiling. And I don't get that impression that she was happy that they were there. It's just like, it isn't something that would make her sad. She's like, ah, they're off exploring the world. That's great. I'm happy that they're happy. You are a wonderful person, Emily. A truly amazing individual. Um, let's see. Nothing much up there. Let's go and grab this. Yoink. And if you're wondering why I was talking a little bit about the whole preference thing and how... Even if it's subconscious, you're clearly expressing a preference. If you look at at how you've given gifts to people, yeah, it's because we're definitely that at that point now where maybe next episode a decision has to be made. A decision has to be made. It's not going to be an easy decision because it'll end all all other avenues of possibility. But I think it's time. I'm only half decided. There's basically... It comes down to two people. Hmm. I'm not going to tell you who it is, of course. But it is very firmly two people. So it's... I'm not going to choose it based on who gets the most... Like, votes just randomly. But if one of the two people that I'm considering does over the other, then I'll take that as a firm nod in that direction in the comments. But if it's if it's neither of them, then I'm more or less not gonna not going to take it into account. It's it's not gonna be no matter how many people want me to, it's not gonna be possible for that to sway my my decision at this point. I'm gonna be realistic there. Um, let's pop down this lightning rod. It'll do better on the ground than it will in my backpack. Um, hello. No, 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 no. We don't. Ha we don't have to fight to the death right now. I mean, we can if you really want to, but I, I'm, I'm okay letting you just live. I think I closed all of the. Uh... Did I close them all? I closed this one for certain. Yes, I did. Okay, fantastic. All of them are closed. Right, we're retreating to our home where we are going to be able to spend some time organize our furniture and otherwise do great things oh actually first i'm gonna go and deal with this apricot jelly and cherry jelly uh no we're gonna make some grape jelly for now damn it i mean grape jelly is pretty solid honestly we're, we're still running off most of the grapes that we got last year you really get so much from from uh, the grapes and likewise once the the beans start to um come in and the hops like uh similarly right now we want that amazing window come hither um i would i would prefer not to have that one there we are going to take these ones you're coming with no, no, don't eat the daffodil. There we are. I want the fancy curtained 
windows either side of the bed. Um, mahogany dresser needs to go in the bedroom. Mm, I see. This is this not enough room. I'm gonna have to go to bed. I think in the near in the next moment or so. Because I just need to be in bed. Um, sure. We'll take that, though. We're going to pop that on the table. For now, it'll be where this lives. There we go. That, look, that looks pretty swanky, in my opinion. Um, I could put... Uh, not sure about these windows over there. Maybe the side of the, of the couch, but I need another three-wide thing to go there. Or just have a window in the middle. And that one's a bit of a, a difficult decision, but we're going to go to bed because it's 1.40 a.m. There we go. Hopefully we didn't forget anything. We made 6,291 on uh, out of produce. I am surprised. That is less than I was expecting. I thought with the cranberries and especially with the pumpkins, that would be great. But, of course, we didn't put all the pumpkins in. We didn't even finish planting all the pumpkins. I got too distracted. Uh, but the talk of my future, future partner... Uh, let's see, not too bad on the fishing. The red mushroom did okay. Okay, well, 7,100, you know, it's nothing to sniff at. Certainly a decent amount of cash. And today's rain day. Not that it makes any difference to the way that we, uh, that we do our work these days. Uh, right, okay, well, I definitely want to work out where I'm putting this dresser. How big are you? You're reasonably sized. I guess I'm going to put it there for now. Do I have anything that I want to put on top of that? Um, <laughs> a lantern. Yeah, sure. Sure, why not? Why not have a lantern on my dresser if I can? No, I cannot. Okay, well, you're going back then. I could... Well, I was going to say, I could have a globe on the dresser, but no, I can't put anything on the dresser. That's the problem. Uh, right. I would like to move you. You can go in the corner. You can go right there. I think that looks a little bit better. I can have a smaller window right in the corner there. Take you down. A smaller window right there. Uh, it doesn't quite work, in my opinion. That needs to be centered, if you ask me. I mean, I've got a second amazing... All right, television. I'm going to stick you over there for now while I move things around. And yes, I'm, I'm spending my time today... Moving my house around. Damn it, there are there are important things that I need to do, and this is one of them. Um, I mean, there's no point in having this. <sighs> See, as much as the symmetry pleases me, there's something just less awesome about having that symmetry just, just there. Som I know, I know, okay? I understand that the comments are going to be full of people like, Who are you, and what did you do with Avak? Not l worshipping symmetry? Imposter! But it's true. You can have too much symmetry sometimes. You need a little bit of variety. Otherwise, things just look... They look wrong. There, there, there is such a thing as too much symmetry. I know it's hard to believe. I found it hard to believe in the beginning as well. But it's true. Um, I do like this painting, but it just doesn't go with anything else I've got. It's remarkably sad. Remarkably sad. But it is true. Uh, and the same is kind of true of this. But let's pop that there for now. It's starting to look cluttered up here. I'll be honest with you. But this does start to look uh, pretty nice. In fact, let's, let's go ahead and move this over there. Can we have a little plant in the... Oh, that, that's looking a bit better. Maybe swap these around. And yes, it's 9am and I've spent all of this time just arranging my house. Blah, I say to you. Blah! I can spend this time arranging my house if I want to. I'm going to go put these uh, windows away. We no longer need them. Bump, bump. And... No, sorry, best at you, but no. No. No, no, no. Okay, then. Leave in. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're like, you've got work to do. There are animals out there. Why are you in here just faffing around with furniture? You're being a bad farmer, Amak. Amak, remember to eat healthily, or you won't have enough energy to work hard. I'm including one of my favorite recipes. Make sure to use ripe tomatoes. Eggplant palm. Is that? I'm not sure. Um, well, I know a couple of recipes. I thought I'd send you one. Maybe it'll help you mine more ore or something. Take care. Bean hot pot. Oh, fantastic timing with that. 
Dear Amber, you're such a good neighbour. I thought I'd send you over some animal feed to make your job easier. Keep it up. Oh, thank you very much, Marnie. And I just realised, one of the most important things that we do every morning was just, like, eaten up by moving around furniture. That, and then this. Living off the land. We would have missed the living off the land, my lord. Got a kitchen. Cooking is a great way to enhance your abilities. Not only do they provide a convenient source of energy, but many dishes temporarily increase your skills, speed, and more. Smells good, don't it? Uh, yeah, actually. Also helium, that's the main thing. Ah, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. A soft susiris on the wind of change. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Oh, well, that hasn't changed very much. I guess it's a little bit better, but... Uh. Uh, it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Oh, I approve. It is absolutely throwing it down outside in real life for me. It is glorious. Um, it's... Uh, I mean, I think it's going to develop. I think it's going to develop. And I'm excited for that. And I don't want to jinx it by saying, Oh yeah, it's going to turn into this massive, beautiful storm. And then it won't. But I think it, there's an outside possibility that we may be looking at a really stormy day. And it's going to be so good. All of the eggs. You are making more eggs than I can collect and use. But that is fine. I will continue to come in here and collect your eggs. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you very much. I appreciate all the hard work you're putting into this. Because I can only imagine that it is very hard work. There we go. And even if it's not, I still appreciate it. Even if it's not hard work. You're, you're still doing the work. And I imagine you're doing it with fond thoughts of me. Despite the fact that I starved you one day. I'm still sorry about that, guys. Uh, let me grab you. You know what? I'm, I'm starting to gather so much stuff in here. My goodness. Um, I'm going to take these. I'll give it to Shane. One of them, at least. Uh, there we are. Agro, please carry me forth. First and foremost, I'm going to drop off um, the uh, mayo. There we are. And is there anything else I really want to drop off? No. No, there isn't. Oh, okay. Let's be off with us. I want to pop the hay in here. Oh, no. Well, no? Okay. Can't do that. Very well. Let's go in here then and say hello. Unfortunately, you are going to be using up all of your hay today because there is no way that that is going to... Uh, that I'm going to be able to feed you outside because it's raining and you'd catch cold. Yep. Not all of nature is as perfectly evolved for cold and wet climates as I am. It is sad, but true. You will never know the joys of walking in the snow with, and just like peeking out between your toes. Because you have no toes, first and foremost. But, I'm not even sure that you'd really truly appreciate it. Not the way I do, anyway. Uh, right. Let's uh, go. There we go. And I'm not upgrading that barn today, either. I might have been able to get the 25k... Um, bundle if I had planned properly. Oh, please stop. There. Thank you. I, it wasn't even stop that I was frustrated I was missing. It was that that sound goes through me when I'm imagining it's because I'm milking. It, milking shouldn't make a sound like that. I realized that in, in the case of milking the air, yeah, I'm not hurting anything, but whenever it's like, oh yeah, they've got no milk today, I'm like, oh my god. And that's the sound you made when I was trying to get it, when you weren't ready to to, to give it the milk? What on earth was I doing? I've got to be honest. <laughs> You're not meant to make that kind of sound. Uh, right. Let's have a poke in here, shall we? Hello, pumpkins. Uh, of course. I really should have been back here and sorted this out. I am sorry. Why are you not, though? We will fix. There we go. And there as well. And we'll grab you. Now, of course, I'm going to have to water, which is a little bit inefficient with time, but I guess not too bad. There we are. Down here as well. Thank you. And collect all of these gorgeous, delicious hot peppers. Sam is quite fond of those as well, so uh, definitely something worth taking down. 
Um, and this is... Alright, I guess we're going to be selling a fair, fair wallop of those then. We've got a bunch of white eggs to put into the fridge as well. It's 2pm, Agro. I spent most of the day faffing around with my furniture. Though I maintain it was important faffing around. It is super important to have a nice environment to live and to work in. And also to play in. And pretty much to do anything in. Super important. Uh, we'll get rid of those. But I'm going to keep hold of these as gifts. Um, that's also... You know what? I haven't given anything to Emily in ages. And it's starting to upset me. Um, an emerald. And I'm going to take an out of this because I've got loads of it. Should we go to the mine even though it's a bad day for the mining? Uh, I'm wondering. I'm, I am genuinely wondering that one. We might. We might. I'm going to sell those, but I am going to give... Well, no, actually, I'll keep them. Yeah, I'll keep them as gifts. My inventory is slowly filling up. Uh, not even that slowly, actually. It is fill just flat out filling up with random brick a brac uh, right, well, I have no idea if it's uh, an important day today. I have not paid attention. I do not remember if Monday the 8th is a special day. I've been fairly pleased with myself for having such a good sense of time so far. But today is not one of those days. Let's go and have a look. No, no. But it's Vincent's birthday in the not-too-distant future. Okay, well, I've got a bunch of gift-giving that I want to do. So how about we go around and give out some gifts? Hello! This gift is fabulous! Thank you so much! You are so welcome. There's good people in this town who just can't seem to find happiness. That makes me sad. Aww. Working in the saloon, I hear firsthand about everyone's problems. That's particularly... Well, that's, that's a particular burden. For someone who's so happy that you are still so happy while surrounded by people who are suffering in ways that you can't fix. I'm sorry. I spent all morning doing my hair. Now the rain could mess it up. <sighs> Life is hard sometimes. Well, let me let me see if I can't improve it for you. Oh my god, this is my favourite thing! Now you don't need to go out. You can just, just enjoy it. I have brought the out to you. Uh, let's go check in on Vincent. I have been carrying these grapes around for what feels like an age. Oh, thank you so much. This is terrific. You are more than welcome. That's not around much. I miss playing with him. What do you mean he's not around much? You said that earlier and he was like, he literally stood right next to you. Did you wipe your boots off before coming in? Uh, oh, sorry. I just cleaned the floor. You don't have to apologize. That is a completely legitimate question. Uh, would you like a daffodil? Blech. I hate this. Why? Why? I think I even found this out. Jody. It's not even that I'm... I'm I mean, I'm sorry that I gave you a bad gift, but I'm not even saying why to myself, honestly. I'm saying, why don't you like daffodils, you strange creature? You got that for me? Thanks. Oh, do you know? I thought you liked it. One sec, i got to beat this level. Hmm. Well, this has been a disappointing visit. First, I offended your mother with a gift that I have on the value incredibly highly, but she doesn't. I mean, it's, it's fair enough. It's, it's, it's her choice to like what she likes. I just don't quite understand it, and I'm a f I feel a little perturbed. I feel a little perturbed. And then, then your brother didn't didn't enjoy the thing that I thought he was going to enjoy. It just feels like uh, what a wasted trip. I may as well have just not shown up. Well, except that Vincent did enjoy his gift, so there's a little something there. Hello. Do you know I was an all-star quarterback in high school? It's true. Uh, but you're not in high school anymore. This is cool. Thanks. You're welcome. You can use it to beef yourself up. Thank. Uh, crystal fruit wine. This is a really expensive gift. Uh, there you go. You didn't go with this one, kid. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> My head. Well, you know, maybe that'll help. It's pretty potent, though. Yeah, I might not want to drink it, actually, on second thought. Save it for a day when you're not already hungover. That's my advice. Um, yeah. Uh, well... Given everything, should we go maybe? Let's go fishing. I'm not sure if this is going to help or not, but let's give it a try. Oh, hey, Shane. I have a present. That's great. Thanks. You're welcome. Hey, sorry if I came off as rude when we first met. No, it's all right, mate. It takes me a while to warm up to strangers. Well, I like to think that you warmed up to me at this point. 
Right. Let us go and see if we cannot catch this fish. About there, let's say. I'm not sure if it's catchable in rainy weather. We'll see. At this point, I really would like to be able to get to Calico Desert, though. I have very little to do in the village today. Being able to go to Calico Desert at least means that I would be able to uh, hit up one of the mines. Ooh. Sorry, perfect fish, but I need that. You were perfect, but no longer. A shad. And a trash chest full of bait. Oh, uh, you know. It's not a bad haul, I suppose. Hello? Hello? There we go. And, ooh. This one's a little bit... Ooh, okay. It's not a legendary, but it's fast. You are quite the difficult one. Okay, I'm going to have to play this one properly then. Lots of micro taps rather than any big gaps where I release the button or start pressing it again. Oh, I'm not playing it well at all, considering I was saying I was going to play it properly. You get. We can still recover from this point. Well, you can recover from any point with enough luck. Wow, okay. You are being super difficult. You guys, you may actually get away after I said that you can recover from anything. We can, but it, there's a certain point where you have to ask yourself, well, is it worth the time investment to recover at this point? No, nope. okay. If they do go really far down, by the way, the tip that I gave about slowing your descent first no longer applies. If they've gone really far down, then sometimes it's better to just let the uh, bobber hit the bottom and then sharply stop. Oh, well, bounce a little bit, I guess, but... Aha! Catfish, you are mine! That was an epic battle. You are a warrior who I shall honor by not selling you. I'm going, I'm going to go straight home. And I'm going to turn you into sashimi. I'm going to give you death by blade. The highest honor a warrior such as yourself can aspire towards. And we're going to go and do that right away so I don't forget and accidentally sell you. Because I will otherwise. And that would be tragic. To have fought so epically. Only to be sold. By being thrown in a bin. And collected by, by a lecherous old man. In the middle of the night. Probably dressed as a ninja. We don't ask questions but yeah. I know what goes on. Right. There we go. Um, -bum -bum -bum. Pepper Poppers, we could make a load, but I'm not super, super big on that dress yet. Pumpkin pie. Mm. Pumpkin pie. Yes. That one's just for me. This game makes me a little bit hungry sometimes. Uh, right. Let's go ahead and make more grapes. Yeah, yeah. Or ra rather, make more grape jam. <sighs> I can't believe Jody just turned down my, my gift of daffodils. It hurt so much, Agro. Uh, let's go ahead and go visit Rasmodius. We might be able to visit Rasmodius at this time. It's possible that we'll, we won't, but uh, it may be a bit too late. I don't know when Rasmodius closes the doors to his tower, no longer accepting guests. But we're going to give it a good shot. Oh, hello, dandelion. I wonder why they're called dandelions. I mean, both the word lion and dandy have meaning. But somehow, I do not believe that it is called a dandelion because it reminded people of a dandelion. I'm, I'm really not certain. But that seems unlikely. Funny if it's true, though. If anyone happens to know, do let me know. <gasps> Rasmodius, you keep your door open well into the night. Well done. Ah, this is imbued with potent arcane energies. It's very useful for my studies. Thank you. I have seen many things about your future, young Evac. If I were to tell you, it could be grave consequences. I don't mind. Tell me anyway. Do I make the right choice on who to marry? That's the main thing that I want to know. Is there a right choice with such a thing? There probably isn't. Uh, a right choice on who you should have a relationship with. Uh, that's, that's, I'm not sure there is a, a right or a wrong. Well, there probably, probably are some wrongs. But I'm not sure there are a right. You know, it's, it's, it's one of these 
one of these situations where you can lose in many, many different ways, but you'll never truly win. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure. I think, I think my response to, to that would probably depend largely on my mood at the time. Alright, let's head back. Thank you very much for, for keeping me company all through the day today, Agro. Hello, Slime. Hooah! Stop bothering my chickens. Scallywag. Right, well, I'm going to drop off the slime. We are going to go and sell the sap, grab the stone, deposit these. And we're going to actually turn in fairly early night tonight. But there's just not that much for us to do. And there's not much point in just wandering around if you've got nothing to fill your time with. Um, I see I'm stacking up these things. I'm not sure I really want them. Crobus. Ah, drat. I should have taken them to Crobus. <sighs> Leaf in. I am a bit of a derp. It's lovely to see you killed up by the fire, though. Sorry. Sword to the face. It's how I show my affection, apparently. Um, anything else I can do down here? This not actually that much. I wouldn't mind another... Well, I could... Hmm. If I could get two of these, how glorious would it be? I have one there and one here, maybe. Or just one there, I don't know. Maybe even one behind the chair. Yeah, there's something nice about that, actually. There's something nice about it. I could even pop the crystal over there, perhaps. Mm. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I know this episode has been largely me just redecorating my house. But yeah, that that has a certain, certain something about it. I like it. But we really do need to upgrade our house. We're running out of room for all of our gorgeous furniture. And that just can't uh, can't be allowed to continue. Oh, I need to drop off my uh, fruit, actually. Let me quickly do that. Pop, pop. And we're good. Right, time to turn in. Let's see how much we made today. 4,938. Not bad. 4,940 in total, given the two, uh, uh, the two gold for the one set. And there we have it. It is Tuesday, the 9th of spring, year two. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, everyone. A bit of a long, rambly one. There was a lot of time spent decorating the house, but I think it looks nice. Though, that being said, I would very much like any input that you have on the way I design the house, if you have any particular suggestions. Indeed, I take quite a lot of inspiration from things I've seen other people do, and a couple of dapplings have actually sent me screenshots of their, frankly jaw-droppingly gorgeous farms that put anything I have tried to do to shame but cause me to aspire to greatness. But uh, if you do want to share any screenshots with me, um, either drop a link in the comments down below or just send me a link on Twitter and I will definitely check those out. But that is it for today. So like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.